Hello my art viewers welcome back to my channel you are seeing the art of inside impressions and this is artist bhavna so it's been one year i started my youtube channel it was great journey and i learned many things so i just want to share few tips hacks and learnings from my journey so without any delay we'll just get started into the video first starting with the first tip not following the directions it means when you are working on the layers or when you are filling the space using this lines maybe cross hatching or circular motions i used to as a beginner i used to just criss cross the lines i used to just scribble the lines i used to get all the patches on my paper and i used to do know how to balance the stones and how to get even tones and i used to hold my pencil as close to the tip and i used to get the harsh strokes and they are not blendable and you can't erase them also so that will create those patches and this is really messy effect on your paper so as a beginner i used to do this mistake and i used to not follow any directions so first you're working on horizontal or vertical directions you need to hold your pencil as far as the tip and you need to not hold pencil as close to the tip because close to the tip means you are just providing most uh, hard pressure and you'll get the good dark strokes so if you are sure and if you are working on the dark background then you need to hold your pencil close but when you're working to get the even tones you need to hold pencil as far as possible and you can see here how good it blended when i used minimal pressure so you can see this patches so please do avoid these patches and try to control your pencil and these are real tips so you can apply in your day to day life and we'll go for the next tip many people are really confused to use sharpener or cutter to sharp the point so my suggestion is go for sharpener so don't use cutter unnecessarily because it is no much difference using cutter or sharpener because it all depends on your skills and it all depends on your pencil tricks and holding tricks okay so using cutter doesn't improve your art skills it just speed up the process but you can also do with this normal uh, sharpener tip okay so i just want to give uh, two examples here i just want to share my two favorite artists that is arinzi and silvi mehdal so these both artists doesn't use cutter to sharp their pencils but their outputs are really amazing so just want to add two pics so just say it so these both are two perfect artists and they never sharp their tip using their cutter so they just use sharpener and they get the beautiful results so don't use cutter if you are really comfortable with sharpener go for it and this cutter is too dangerous so don't use it and you can create wonders with normal sharpener tip outlines what about outlines so some people they'll use directly the higher grade pencils to create outlines but i prefer using h hb or 2h grades to create outlines why so because outline should be light and when you create light areas and dark areas you can blend them easily and in the final output the outline should not be visible so some people prefer the higher grades like 10b 6b 2b 5b 4b so on but when they apply the grades like lighter grades and darker shades they don't know how to blend and the outlines will be visible in the final output and visible outlines are not at all good in the final output so try to blend them properly so use lighter grades what about measurements i use grid maker app for artist and i use divider to measure the areas where i need to draw so if you just calculate the areas and if you just directly draw areas using the fingers so the results will be really different and you can get the accurate measurement so each and every artist will try to invest the most time in their outlines to get the best results so same as that you should always invest more to build the pillars than to build the layers so that means according to the artist you need to 
concentrate on perfect outlines using this divider and grid line for artist app so this grid lines will really help you to get the perfect directions and perfect uh, measurement to go and proceed with the next layers and the process so you can use scale you can use grid line app you can use divider to get the accurate measurements okay so this is a perfect technique to get accurate measurements okay talking about the reference image so reference image should be super duper hd pic and if you want to zoom in you need to see all the region and you can draw all the minor details too so unlike the previous pic this pic is more good in quality and you can draw each and every minor detail the next question is from where you need to choose yes the pinterest is the best source to choose the reference image and you'll get the super hd and good pics and you can also search according to your favorite choice so this is how you will search and it is super easy to use so once you use it you'll get and you can save each and every pic so you can create separate boards and you can uh, save there so that you can use for later so this is how and you can download the pics and you can also get the super quality pics so let us download this and let us see the next trick so there will be really great confusion to identify shadows and highlights but to clear that you need to do this so we have this inbuilt editing tools and we'll use it we are just increasing the contrast and we are just increasing the exposure so that the light tones and the shadows will come up and you can easily identify them you can see right the dark tones are really dark and light tones became really light so this is a technique i'll use to identify the light and dark tones and this is really super easy cool and i just found myself this very interesting so that's why i'm just sharing it with so you can see this is normal pic so this is our edited pic and you can see the lightest region more lighter and the darkest region more darker so do try this trick and just share your feedback with me coming to our appropriate tools so this is just an example and we have pencil eraser tombow mono eraser and our battery eraser so these two tools are recommended for beginners that is tombow mono eraser and the pencil eraser but coming to our battery eraser i don't suggest for the beginners and i don't suggest for the minimal arts because those uh, shakes and those uh, jerks you can't bear them so manually you can use pencil eraser and the tombow mono eraser but when coming back to our electric or battery eraser it is really tough to use i mean you can't use on the minimal arts and you need to work on the large areas when you want to use this battery operated eraser so you can see all those jerks and hurdles and movements that is really not recommended for beginners and don't try to use so please you can work with tombo and pencil eraser so go for it why it is important to work on details and why details are really important to enhance your art skills so this is previous artwork from 2019 and you can see there is no much details on this artwork and there is no highlights and you can see the skin texture above the lip and those are really little strokes and those strokes are really done with pencil and this is normal strokes and i didn't spend much time on doing those but when we see this recent artwork you can see minimal texture minimal things and all the skin texture i spent really much time on it and this is done within 1 to 1 and 1/2 hour i guess if i'm not wrong but i invested 16 plus hours on the recent artwork and the details are super good and this is known as enhancement process so try to work on details practice practice daily let it be shapes or let it be minimal arts or let it be anything so just invest some time in practicing your art skills so you can see how i use a5 size book for just practice work and i just if i don't have time i just use like 
two to three hours on it and you will get the amazing results so if you don't have two to three hours time try doing this milk and mocha you can see this milk and mocha so i just draw something or other but i just touch my pencil for one hour daily so this is an amazing thing you need to do you need to invest in practice work if you are seeing my channel for the first time you can enjoy beginners tutorial milk and mocha tutorial so all those are for just practice work you can directly invest in them you can also invest in shading techniques circular motions cross hatching daily so to get the even tones after doing this art i really enjoyed my enhancement because this is done on a5 but the details are really too strong and you can see how minimal art it is so this is just tiny art i have invested but i invested more than 8 hours on this but the results are super amazing so you need to try to invest in these type of art so i invested many has on the small artwork but the results are super duper amazing and after that i could definitely see much improvement in my recent works so try investing in that i used to really don't know how to use masking tape and i used to have this broad one but if you want to cut it you can use cutter and you can directly use on the tape and you can cut here so that it will cut two to three layers directly and you can use it for next time also so this is how it will look and we'll just use this and i used to don't know how to get the perfect masking look but um, after several researches and after many suggested me how to use it i'm just sharing it so this is how you can't pick it up easily you need to pull it so hardly and that may damage your paper so to avoid that i'll just use it on a cloth so here i'm showing on my hand i'll just use it on the cloth so that excess gum or extra gum will be removed so this is my cloth i'm using on it so you can use any cloth which you really like so you'll just put it on it and you'll just remove so repeat this process for 2 to 3 times or 3 to 4 times whenever you are satisfied and whenever you think this gum is enough for my masking tape you can just go for it and you'll stick on the paper and with the minimal gum and you can easily remove on it and if you want to stick it for 2 to 3 days try to remove more gum and just stick with the less gum so that you can remove easily if you are seeing my channel for the first time, please do like, share and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to tap the bell icon and thanks for watching.